A somber moment on the field for national women's soccer fans cheering as players paused for a moment of solidarity. It was the first time back on the field at three matches following accusations of emotional abuse and sexual misconduct inside the league. Now, last week, former uh, national women's soccer players Mana Shim and Sinead Fairley went public with allegations of sexual coercion against former coach Paul Riley and the inaction by teams and the league's front office. Since then, Riley's been fired. The commissioner of the soccer league stepped down, and there have been a slew of abuse and toxic workplace allegations rocking not only national women's soccer, but soccer leagues around the globe. This has been intense. We have some insight now from journalists for the Chicago Sun-Times and host of Equal Play, Annie Costable. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so Shim and Fairley coming out. How significant was this? I mean, this literally is rocking the world. Yeah, I think it's extremely significant. But what I think is really important to talk about is the reporting that went into uncovering this scandal, what was going on. And Meg Linehan at The Athletic has done an incredible job reporting this story. And it really is because of her experience covering this league. And when you think about that, we don't cover women's sports the same as we cover men's. And that plays into some of these stories going untold for as long as they have. Meg has been covering this league from its existence and that played a role in these players feeling comfortable to share their story with her. It's interesting timing though, especially in light of the Me Too movement and so many women feeling more courage, feeling more support in coming out. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that there's a reason why this was the time versus saying it earlier? Because how long did these allegations, how long did this activity go on according to the, uh, the players? Well, this took place back in 2015. So mm -hmm. there was a six year period that this was not being discussed to the with the public obviously you know this story just got broke just was just yeah. broke last week yeah. so that's a 6 year period and and we saw players take a moment of silence in at the 6 minute mark during yesterday's games and i i don't know you know if it's timing or or, or what it is but again i think it needs to be stressed that when we cover women's leagues, when we give them the appropriate coverage, when we're doing our job as media members, stories like this get uncovered. And Meg is a perfect example of that. How do you think this is going to change all of soccer, women's soccer? These uh, stories are being told now, not just for national women's league, but also around the world. You know, I think this is just the beginning. And for so long, a lot of these stories did not want to be discussed by players for fear of how it would impact not only their career, but their teammates' career, mm -hmm. the future of the league. And so I think with this story being told, hopefully other players will feel the courage to share their own stories if there are more and you know i think that again like i said this is just the very beginning of this and we are going to have to go through the fire to get to the other side of, of a more fair safe workspace for women athletes and specifically women in the national women's soccer league all right well i know that there'll be more stories to be told we can find those uh, not only here on morning in america but on your podcast thank you so much for being with us of course thank you for having me thanks for waking up and putting on that lovely jacket too in <laughs> studio i know it takes a lot of energy now to get dressed up well,